about the South Avenue Firehouse near Highland Park. The City Firefighters Union says the city will need to take a pumper and 16 firefighters from that firehouse, leaving the city less safe. And the union maintains covering West Brighton expands the city's total coverage area by 25 percent. The city fire department just completed a four-year cost-cutting plan, and the firefighters union says it's now a frequent practice for fire engines on the east side of the river to respond to fire calls on the far west side and vice versa. In a letter to Mayor Richards and city council members, union president Jim McTiernan says the merger with the West Brighton Fire Department will spread the resources of the Rochester Fire Department even thinner. Everything that we have said was going to occur has occurred. McTiernan says response times haven't necessarily decreased, but the number of fire companies on the scene immediately has been reduced. He raises the issue of three fatal fires in the city in the last six months with serious firefighter injuries as well. Always McTiernan done. says he's not blaming any of those seven deaths on a shortage of manpower. Absolutely not. I have never said that anything would save a life. I couldn't predict that. I don't think anybody can. But we can point to the differences in what the responses would have been prior to the re revised four-year plan and what the responses are now. And they are considerably different. Under the agreement with the town of Brighton, city firefighters would man the West Brighton Firehouse on West Henrietta Road. City Hall spokesman Gary Walker responded today for interim city fire chief Sal Mitrano. The fire chief is very confident that we can do this, that the city has the resources. The city has been covering uh, some of the larger fires for the West Brighton uh, uh, Fire Department for a while now. And, uh, you know, with the declining number of fires that we've seen in the city, we feel confident that we can do this. City Hall points out that Rochester has not had to resort to mass layoffs of firefighters as other cities have done. I would argue this, too, that if you look around New York State, we're one of the only cities that has not seen re significant firefighter layoffs. For the last eight years under an agreement, the city fire department has responded to all structure fires in West Brighton, but tomorrow they will respond to all fire calls as the primary responder, Rich. So what happens to the West Brighton Firehouse now and the people who are staffing it as of this moment? Well, the changes, according to Brighton Supervisor Bill Maley, the city takes over at 8 a.m. The two full-time firefighters on duty at the West Henrietta Firehouse will remain there for now. They do actually work for the town, not the fire department. The volunteers will remain in a support role for now. Okay. Ray Lovato with our report. Thanks, Ray.